EVTOL Engineering How China Plans to Deploy Flying Cars by 2024 Xpeng Aero HD It's very good that Xpeng also has chosen to go for zero emission mobility so we need to rethink all ways from transport and this is definitely one of the options that we can see I'm really positive and looking forward that this can be achieved in also in the European continent The future of flying cars is nearer than you think with Chinese company Xpeng pushing ahead with development, planned to launch in 2024. Xpeng's Urban Air Mobility, UAM company AeroHD, has introduced an electric vertical takeoff landing, EVTOL, flying car, and made its first public flying in Dubai on 10th October 2022. The 92nd test flight of the car was described as an important base for the next generation of flying cars. Xpeng Aero HT makes first certified flying. After completing all kinds of procedures such as risk assessment and obtaining a flight permit from the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority, the Chinese company Xpeng has exhibited its first flying electric vehicle model, which can take off vertically in the Emirati city, witnessed by over 150 attendees, including representatives from the Chinese consulate in Dubai the Dubai International Chamber of Commerce, the DCAA, the Dubai Department of Economy and Tourism, the Dubai World Trade Center, and global media. The new car, named X2, adopts an enclosed cockpit with a minimalist teardrop-shaped design and a sci-fi appearance that takes high-efficient aerodynamics into account to achieve the ultimate in-flight performance. It has space for two passengers and carried out the test flight autonomously without anyone on board the vehicle. The vehicle runs on batteries and has the DEP, or Distributed Electric Propulsion System. Therefore, it does not produce any carbon dioxide emissions during flight and is a step forward in the pursuit of urban green transportation. In order to reduce weight, the X2 has a complete carbon fiber structure that, including batteries, reaches 560 kilos and would rise to 760 kilos at takeoff it can reach altitudes under 1,000 meters during the flight, with a top speed of up to 130 kilometers per hour. It is also worth noting its autonomy is up to 35 minutes, suitable for short-distance, low-altitude city flights, such as sightseeing and medical transportation. The X2 is equipped with two driving modes, autonomous and manual. During the autonomous flight, Passengers can enjoy a safe and intelligent flying experience with a simple start, return, and landing operations at the touch of a button. The manual mode is for the more adventurous ones out there. The car belongs to the fifth generation of the flying car concept from the company, founded by the Chinese businessman Zhou Deli, who already had the idea of the flying motorcycle concept years ago. Pricing and Availability there's no word on the pricing and availability of the fifth Gen Fly car right now. However, at the company's Tech Day on 24th of October 2021 and 2022, its sixth generation flying car will arrive sometime in 2024 and could cost below 156,600 US dollars. The sixth Gen vehicle will have a lightweight design and a rotor that folds away, which will allow the car to drive on roads and then fly once the rotors are expanded. In flight mode, the flying car is piloted using the steering wheel and the right-hand gear lever as controls to move forward and backward, make turns, ascend, hover, and descend. It will also have a number of safety features, including parachutes, the company said. Regulatory. Flying car industry included in China Development Plan 2022. On 25th of March, 2022, China's Ministry of Transport MOT, has released an outline of medium and long-term development plan for science and technology innovation in transportation 2021 to 2035, which includes a rare mention of support for flying cars. According to the document, China will also deploy research and development of flying cars and breakthroughs in technologies, such as the integration of flying vehicles and cars and free switching between flying and ground driving. It is also worth noting that the Chinese government 
appears to be increasing its policy support for this sector over the past year. On the 1st of April, 2021, China established the Central Air Traffic Management Committee, signaling a major step forward in the reform of China's low-altitude airspace management. On 17th of July 17, 2021, CCTV reported that Yunnan became the first province in China to be allowed to conduct pilot low-altitude flights over its entire territory. On 25th of February, 2022 autonomous aerial vehicle maker Ehang's EA216S unmanned aerial vehicle system was granted special conditions, which have been in effect since 9th February 2022. The special conditions provides Ehang with the basis for compliance and safety of EH216S AAVs, including flight performance, structures, design and constructions, propulsion systems, systems and equipment, data link, and ground control station. In simple terms, the company is in the final stages of its airworthiness certification. The latest document from the MOT, which refers to the integration of aircraft and vehicles, is particularly noteworthy as this is the technology that Aero HT is exploring. Xpeng CEO and Xpeng Aero HT Chairman Xiaoping said it is building a flying car the same way it builds cars, which instead of making an airplane drive on the ground, it makes a car that can fly at low altitude. With the change in logic, we find that the likelihood of mass production of flying cars and the resolution of safety policy control issues increases dramatically.